Okay, now we're going to go over the arbitration. Remember, the file I used was the green, which is a 35, and the taper was 04, okay? So you need to match the get a percha to the last file you used to get to your link. All right, so a very common mistake that people do is they will take their get a percha, they will measure it to the length, which is 24, okay? And then they will put it inside the canal. You shouldn't do that. What you need to do is drive it anywhere, put it into the canal, go all the way in as far as possible and bring the tug back. Huh? There you go. I see you're off camera. Well, again, so you grab your gutta percha yeah. anywhere, put it inside the canal all the way until you have some tug back. Okay? Can you see the tug back here? Then I let go and grab it uh, at my reference point. Now I'll measure the length, okay? So here I have about 26 millimeters for my reference point, which means my aperture is sticking, st sticking out about two, two millimeters outside the apex. Show sure that on camera too. Yep, so, there you go. so here, you see here? It's two millimeter outside the apex. So if you pre-measured it to 24 and you just put it in and then you pushed it, it'll stick out. So push it all the way in. Obviously, you're not going to see this part in the exam, right? But what you do is push it all the way in, grab it at your reference point, then measure. Then you know, you know, you know your working length is 24. So I know my working length is 24, but I have 26 or 25 and a half. So I know I have about a millimeter, a millimeter and a half outside mm -hmm. the apex. So you just grab scissors or a sharp blade and you just carefully remove and re-measure. Okay. Just a little bit more like here. The proper way to do it is by proper planning, right? So what I want you to do is go ahead and put your stuff on that white cabinet over there. And put it back in. Yeah, on the way out. Yeah, I know. Okay. What, 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 what I have. Grab it at the reference point. Oh, we're going to that. See how I have resistance as I'm pulling the. You can take your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Grab my reference point. Get drinks. Measure it. Make sure I'm not short or long. I don't think I see this. Okay, now that we um, we have our gutter percha at 24 millimeters, obviously, you're not going to see this part, but you're going to grab it here. At your reference point, and you should have 24 millimeters after you adjusted the comb. Okay, now we need to cut 14 millimeters from here. That's how much is going to go inside the canal because, again, the length is 24, the coronal part of the two, the crown part is 10 millimeters. So if you cut the 10 out of the 24, we're going to have 14 millimeters inside the canal. So I, I need 14 millimeters from the tip of the gutter percha. So you're going to put that, that's putting right there, okay, and then I'm going to cut here, now I have about 14 millimeters right there, you could use the scissors again or you could use the, the blade, so here I have about 14 millimeters, right here. Okay. Now this portion again is 14 millimeters, obviously you're going to have sealer, you're going to coat it with sealer, and then you're going to carefully put it inside the canal, and you push it in with any of the instruments. All you have to do at this point, push it all the way in, okay, and you could put at the Inside of it, you should have enough sealer to cover the inside of the canal space. Again, the red is not a criteria, so remove as much as possible if you get a first channel, and you should be golden. Obviously, you're not going to use any heating instruments because it's plastic, so at this stage, you should be done. Okay. 